Right, so if you remember from previous videos, we've been using various methods of generating heat to run this thing, which is a little Stirling engine. And it's kind of like a, a demonstration, a prototype, that these differences in heat can be generated lots and lots of ways and can actually do useful work. Now, they're prototypes, so developing stuff from that obviously is a different job altogether, but it's, to me, extraordinarily interesting to see the fact that you can do this in a whole myriad of ways. Now, we live in just a truly fascinating world, don't we? Now, I mentioned before in those uh, videos about this marvellous magical material. And this marvellous magical material is clay. It's a, a special kind of clay, actually, called zeolite. And zeolite occurs naturally, but they also make different forms of zeolite. And those zeolites are, are named with numbers. This particular one is uh, X13. It's used, I think, for cleaning ammonia out of fish ponds or something like that. But it does have a stunning and amazing property. And I'm going to give you a close-up so that you can see it in action, because it truly is amazing. OK, so I've filled my stainless steel ashtray with a bit of the zeolite. And watch what happens when I pour on water. It boils almost immediately. That is awesome. Pour on some more water and add our Stirling engine. Ow. <laughs> and there she goes. Look at that bad boy run. So I really just wanted to demonstrate that clay and a cup of cold water will generate enough energy to turn that sterling, which I thought was just awesome. And of course, remember we made this in a previous video? The plan is to create something around this using the zeolite and to create electrical energy directly. That'll be in another video. What I just wanted to demonstrate was that that zeolite has that amazing property. I just think it's awesome. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was short, but thank you for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.